Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Really appreciate you guys uh, checking today's video out. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, glad to have you guys and hope you uh, enjoy the information here. Today, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna discuss a little bit about why people struggle to find bass. And I'm gonna give you guys some quick foundational tips that'll help you locate fish quicker. Um, I think it's gonna help everybody out. So real quick here before we get started, just a couple different reminders. Um, if you guys are interested in booking an on the water lesson with me, just shoot me a private message on my Facebook page, Randy Blockett, Professional Angler, booking trips for fall and, and winter right now. And also I'd like to invite you to check out our view product shopping tab at the start of the video where you save, see view products. Um, it's just some products I put on there. I think you guys might like to check out. Um, if you click on those products, it's a good way to support the channel too. Okay guys, here's some quick tips on this. Now, at some point we're gonna do a video on this. I'll do like, th this is one of those topics I can do an hour long seminar, but I'm gonna give you guys just some, some key elements to, to get you started. If you're having a hard time finding bass or it's taking you a long time. The first thing that you have to do is if you're fishing a lake of any size, you have got to chop that lake down to a manageable size. If you're on a lake that's say 30 or 40,000 acres, it can be intimidating to even to pro anglers because you got so much water, so much area that the fish can be in. A lot of people just don't know where to begin. It's, it's, that's one of the biggest challenges anyone has finding fish. The way that you can do this that takes the intimidation factor away and puts you on fish quicker is pick one area of the lake. And normally if, if you're not familiar with an area or you don't know where to start, look on a map and pick out maybe one or two of the biggest creeks on a lake. Any major creek on a lake has got a big population of bass in it. So say for example, if you're in a 30,000 acre lake and you pick out one major creek arm, right off the bat, you're, the size of your lake is reduced to, to maybe just a couple thousand acres simply by being in that creek. So therefore, right off the bat, it's become less intimidating. You've only got to find these fish in 2,000 of acres of water now instead of 30, 40,000 acres of water. The next thing you have to do is you got to have a systematic approach to how you want to figure these fish out. And one of the best ways you can do this, guys, is before you go to a lake, do a little study on the lake and try to find out something about the seasonal patterns on that particular lake. Also, an understanding of seasonal patterns and bass in general are going to be a good indicator to get you on bass quicker. Here's a prime example. You know, if it's say late April, you know, most of the fish around the country, they're going to be spawning or just got done spawning or getting ready to spawn. So in that case, your best water is going to be like the back of the coves and in shallow water. So you know immediately where to start and on vice versa, if you're fishing in the middle of the summertime, um, those fish, most of them are going to be a little deeper. So you may have to concentrate just on some of the main and secondary points you got to have some type of a starting point. So once you feel that you're in an area that's got some fish in it and you feel that you've had a good starting point, you know, where you want to try, the next thing you have to do is systematically eliminate either the area or the technique they're using. A general rule of thumb, say for example, if I'm fishing, if I'm fishing points, I figure, if I feel the fish are on points and I'm in a major creek, I may fish five or six points if I'm catching fish on them, then I can keep running that pattern and refine a little bit. If I'm not catching any fish on, on those five or six points, I may, I may go back over those five or six points with a different technique. Say the first time I went through them, I was throwing a football head jig out in 15 or 20 feet of water. The next time I go through them, I may get up on the bank and throw a topwater plug on those points, or I may move out a little bit deeper and throw a drop shot or a shaky head. So. The, th the second thing you have to do to find fish quick is adjust your technique in the same areas. Now, if none of that's working and you can't, you still haven't got it, that's a good indicator. You need to abandon that technique and that presentation. So if you tried points and those aren't working, the next thing you might want to try to do is, is, is look in there and maybe try some rock transitions, fish a few rocky transitional banks. If there's some boat docks in an area, you know, hit a few boat docks and give each one of those ideas that you have, I like to give it, say like a 30 to 45 minute rule. You know, if there's some docks in the area, fish docks for 30 minutes. If there's, you know, rocky banks, fish those for 30 minutes. And every time that you make an adjustment, you're getting that closer 
to locating those fish. So the main point of it, guys, without getting into a long video that we'll do later, is don't stay with something if it's not working. Make some type of an adjustment. Make either an area adjustment or a technique adjustment or a lure adjustment and keep, keep changing until you pick up on a few fish. And once you start catching a fish or two, it will lead you to the next fish and you can sort of uh, modify and refine your approach at that point. So anyway, that's just some quick basic foundational tips on there, guys. Like I said, we'll do more on this later. Um, thanks again for tuning into the video and we'll see y'all later.